Hi everybody, welcome to another Ascension reading. As you guys know, these readings are for the Ascension minded. Okay, basically, if you are interested in having your awakening and you consider yourself to be part of the mission-based community, whether you're light workers or star seeds or earth angels or indigo children or rainbows or dragons and incarnated unicorns, whatever it is, <laughs> whew, whatever it is that you would consider yourself to be, if you have a soul contract for service to others, then this message is specifically bringing through messages for you. And I do want to remind you that we serve others in their highest when we serve ourselves in the highest, meaning when we contribute to our own healing and well-being, when we um, focus on self-acceptance, self-worth, things like that, we are literally creating, creating the condition, look at my throat chakra already, right? We are literally creating the conditions for us to thrive. And when we're thriving, those around us will thrive. Always remember that because our minds are joined. Don't be fooled by these bodies that make us feel separated, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do, one minute, 11 seconds. <laughs> I was feeling us getting grounded into the earth and that's why um, my throat was like, Ugh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that we're all completely grounded, <laughs> adding some sounds to that. And uh, it's a safe space, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up your crowns a little bit with, of course, your higher selves, um, agreement and I'm going to say that any messages that are here for your health and well-being will be received by you nothing more nothing less okay and so it is so thank you so much so we are going to happily receive any messages from whom our higher selves this is being dropped in from you at a higher level okay so there's nothing to fear there now I hope, as I'm connecting with you guys now, I'm feeling like some, some chairs. I'm seeing some chairs in front of me. Some of them are empty and some of them are being filled in. So this is good. This is collecting ourselves, right? So remember how we've been talking about since the month of October 2023. You can go back and see those messages. The guides were talking about things to come. And those things to come are now manifesting here in the physical. So you may already be feeling tumultuous energy. Energy is coming in returning soul fragments and past life aspects of yourself to yourself you may have it be having vibrational shifts left and right up and down in and out some of you are having whole form identity changes as well going on and the reason why is because there is a lot of light that is being poured into this planet at this time and to be fair there's always light coming in I mean let's keep that 100 however this stream that it that I'm referring to is very targeted for for the collective and it's leading to it will have the effect of <laughs> I, I heard raising the dead the wow and when they they're just joking of course but when they say it, they're like are we <laughs> okay maybe they're not okay well let me explain it <laughs> what they're saying is raising the dead in the sense that it's it's a uh, reaping so what i'm seeing is is trapped fragments soul fragments in in the earth and in, in you know buildings in time timelines all this and that when these energies come in it's going to lead to a large scale return of self fragments, self aspects. And these energies that are coming are going to be carrying their own self concepts, their own ideas of who they are. Who's they? These are parts of you that are going to be coming back for soul integration. Some of them are past lifetime stuff, some of them separated from the body due to trauma, things like that. And so it's soul integration, one, 101 that we need to get into here, right? <laughs> And so these energies, if you are in this mission-based community and you're used to working with energy, then you understand how to uh, receive and how to um, integrate these energies. You understand that this process of integration, of receiving and integrating these energies can be very tumultuous for people because it's the influx of energy and it can affect um, the way our body feels so some people will have aches and pains I'm getting some people have dietary shifts for somebody here in particular they're warning you war it's a mixture warning you and warding you away from dairy products is what they're getting for somebody here for some of you it could be uh, it could lead to a change in your career it could be a lead it could lead to a change in the people you have around me today you know you go to sleep around me oh no that's for me 
okay. Well, I knew that already. Guys, listen, we're already talking about stuff. I already knew it. Um, but that's for some of you as well. They wouldn't just bring messages for me and not for you guys. But for some of you, you could be having a shift in the people around you. You go to sleep one night, you wake up tomorrow, and then you hear about people dropping out of your life. Whether it's oh, this coworker used to work here, now they're not. Now they just quit, or they left, or or something like that. Or the neighbor across the street, they're no longer here, or this person transitioned, or just right. So we're in, and they're reminding us that when we have that, for example, that one example, and this example I was just giving you, it's not that those circumstances change you change and this makes sense the shift in your energy that results from this influx of energy and this integration takes you out of that timeline that you were in when you went to bed and you wake up in a whole other timeline if you know you know five minutes 55 seconds so we're timeline shifting a lot of us if you're watching this video you too (laughs) But the reason why they're choosing to talk about this right now on this channel, I mean in this video, is because you are part of the mission-based community and you may have signed up for um, the role of assisting people with their transition. There are going to be a lot of people who are going to be lost. I'm talking newly awakened like, what is this? What is, what's spiritual hygiene? What's, what's, what's what's the soul what's this but but didn't Jesus and didn't you know all these people right and so or they may not even have those questions they might be like oh my god I'm just uh, my back's always hurting I'm this and that and and what they need is facilitation in that moment some of you are body workers they may these people may be coming in in droves for you and you look at them and you're like oh I love you and you're just going through ascension symptoms and maybe their conscious mind isn't there yet to receive information about that or maybe it is Especially if they're at their wits end and they're like, I've tried everything, a Cairo, I've tried acupuncture, I've tried this, that, I've tried herbs and nothing. And can you please work my body? And then, then you're sitting here and they're, you're working their body. And then you're talking to them about, hey, you know, uh, I don't know if you know about this concept called ascension symptoms. And now you've opened up this conversation for them and they're receptive to it now. Okay, so we're talking about newly awakened people who are coming online and that need to get this information. So if even if, for example, you make jewelry, understand you play an important role too, because you know you can, inf- I'm just seeing like wrapping, um, what do you call this, uh, bracelets around, uh, you know, creating bracelets to assist people. People under, and, and you may actually understand how to pair certain people with certain materials, for example. So you might end up taking on clients, uh, personal or private clients, in a whole new way. Maybe maybe you just had something listed and people would find the jewelry and order it. But now in your everyday life, you're you're noticing people notice your jewelry in the grocery shop. They're like, oh, you're you're um. I love your necklace or I love your earrings or whatever. And then you're like, oh, thanks, I made them. You know, just keep it at 100, I made them. And they're like, really? Those are beautiful. And you're like, yeah, they're actually made out of copper. And immediately, because you're ready to work, so you understand, because you're feeling this, you're feeling in their field that they need copper energy. And so you give them a card, they're like, oh yeah, you know, copper has these really amazing effects and I find it, it works on me, it finds, and you may even without knowing or without knowing, um, mention some symptoms you're experiencing and they're like, that's happening for me too. Or they'll be like, oh, I heard, I read an article the other day about this. Or a friend of mine just bought like copper based, like, um, instruments I don't know why it's coming up for instruments or or in jewelry and they swear and so and you're like well here's my card and if you're willing to get your first piece I mean take a look see what we have if if you don't see something that catches your eye I'd be I'd be happy to make you a custom piece and if they do decide to go on a custom piece for example you will have downloaded for them as just as part of your job it's just going to come to mind for you uh, the perfect piece the perfect designation where on the body it should be held uh, held yeah uh, put or and what materials it could have maybe you might even feel to throw in a little um uh, like a little jewel or something and you'll let them know you're like oh you know what i just felt as i was making the jewelry for you that i needed to also add this so i'm going to go ahead and add it to to your thing as a gift right and they're going to be like wow and they will feel the effects okay so um, those are just two examples of um body work and jewelry making for example some of you i'm getting are going to be casting you know casting i said it but through artwork 
right? So whether you're making sigils or you're doing some type of shamanic work and it's also fused with artwork, you're going to be doing that. So there are a lot of you, and they're also asking us to recognize that some of you are actually working, um, I'm getting the words implants, oh, as implants, and I'm not sure exactly how to explain that right now, but I do want to say that some of you are actually working in a way where you are so grounded into the grid that you, when you come to people, um, you, you meet different people, the grocery store, right, or the post office, you're just waiting in line, minding your business. But what you're doing is you're transmuting their energy field, the person behind you, their energy field is your just conduit to, to take their negative energy and transmute it so it goes into the earth for healing and transmutation, right? So for example, so some of you are space clearers, ley line workers, just by just by what you do, all right? So, and some of you already know this, right? Some of you know this already. And if you're watching this video and you're like, well, what do I do? You know, reach out, got, hook us up. I mean, we will hook you up. <laughs> and, oh, not so what I would say. Look us up and we'll hook you up, yeah. <laughs> just look us up and we'll, because we do mission details, right? And when I say mission details, basically what that means is whatever you come, to us for if you're asking about like your like what's the next step on my mission for some of you it's explaining about your skill sets and what you're doing bringing in information uh, detailed work as well some of you it's giving you heads up about what industries you're going to move into for some of you it could simply be about advising you on where to place your your work like for visibility websites things like that whatever it is honestly that you need um, to hear at this conscious mind level and to receive from our spirit team uh, wherever you are on this journey then that's provided for you that's how that works so it's kind of like intuitive counseling basically <laughs> and um, yeah anyway look at the king of wands let's let's take a look here what's what's put on my glasses <laughs> what time is it oh, 12 oh, one. okay um, yeah what am I seeing here For whatever reason, this kind of feels like somebody in the background, but it, it's, I, I'm not necessarily sure what this, it, it's a connection piece is what I'm getting. So my conscious mind wants to be like, oh, is this the higher self? Oh, is this what, but what I'm seeing is it, it's, let's say if this is source or energies, wherever this, these energies are coming from, it, it steps down through this conduit, this energy, this point that's being reflected by this card right don't just get lost in the form that's a king or whatever right or king of wands just and it comes through down now let's talk about this energy let's oh look yeah the world see let's talk about this energy when you are working in capacity of a mission-based um, person, let's say, for example, you know, I just mean light workers, people, if you feel like you're on a mission, you feel a calling, then you've got that in your soul contract. You're a conduit, right? So what that is, is when energies from higher frequencies come through, your vibration is, I don't want to say evolved enough, but it is evolved enough with the proper initiations and, and um preparations within the energy field uh, anointments and i'm not saying that in a religious way it's just a word that comes through all of that you have the permissions right special permissions within your energy field to receive that oh and the wherewithal to receive those energies and know what to do with it your 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 vibe your energy is strong enough to take those high frequency energies without blowing apart or suffering in huge ways you know how to transmute it you know what to do with it and so therefore then you ground yourself here you allow yourself to be the conduit for these higher frequency energies and then you can ground it into the earth it's like high level channeling right into the earth through what you do so that's what it means to really be of service it means to be able to handle higher frequencies and to bring those frequencies in to the earth, be grounded, and to look, boom, 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 give them out to others in the way that is suited for you. Whatever it is that your mission is, that's what you're going to do. And part of my mission is this. It's information. It's energy healing, right? It's this kind of stuff. So the channeling is how I do it. Some others of you will um, be working on the ley lines. Others of you will be doing body work. Others of you be, will be writing books and selling items and all sorts of stuff. You know who you are, all right? 
Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pause here, okay? You know exactly where to find me if you need anything personal.